E ok? Putem începe? Da. Bună seara, bine v-am găsit. Good evening, welcome. Uh, alături de mine este domnul Elia Saralambus. O să-l rog să spună câteva lucruri despre joc, după care, dacă aveți întrebări, vă stă la dispoziție. I will ask Mr. Saralambus to say a few words about the game and then if you have questions, he is available. Please. Um, good evening to everybody. First of all, I want to congratulate my players that we managed to pass to the next round. Yeah. Um, we, we knew that from yesterday. I told you that it would be hard. We managed to score a goal uh, in the first half. And uh, as I said, if in any point of the game we relaxed a bit, you saw today that if we relax a bit, we faced problems. But then uh, with the personality of some players and the attitude, we managed to return back to equalize the score and to win the game. That was very important for us in order to pass to the next round. What that was our target today. Like you said, you relaxed a bit. Did you have uh, any doubts that you can qualify when you were still one down? Look, in, uh, when uh, the score changed, for, for sure, we, we suffered and uh, some things, some bad things Uh, go around in your mind, you know, but uh, I repeat, with the personality of some players and uh, the attitude that uh, when the difficult uh, things came up, they showed the real personality in the pitch and we managed to turn the score and win the game. Why did you have to suffer? Why, uh, what wasn't respected? It, I didn't say about respect, I said about if no, you... No, no, respect like uh, in terms of uh, instructions, tactical... It's not about tactical, or uh, it's about uh, in life, generally in life, if you relax in some moment, you will have problems. And today, this is what happened, that we thought that everything was going perfect and okay, and we relaxed a bit, and there we had to wake up again, because uh, even, I repeat, even in life, if we relax and we say everything is okay, and we don't try and work, we will face problems. So this will happen today, but I repeat, we showed some players, their character, and we managed to return, uh, turn the score and to win the game. In the last games, uh, the team suffered a lot in the second half. Uh, is it because of the relaxation again? Because of? Relaxation again? No, it's something that uh, worries us and we are trying to solve it. And um, I believe uh, the most important now is that we managed to take uh, the wins But uh, as I say always, uh, always we have things to improve. One of the things is this, and um, we'll try to improve this as well for the future. How did you feel uh, David Nicholas go after the injury? Look, I believe it's too early. I saw him now, but uh, it's too early to say exactly how uh, big is his injury. Uh, tomorrow, the doctor will see everybody, and uh, we'll see how they feel tomorrow in the training. Djokovic scored twice. Look, Djoko is an uh, experienced player. He played uh, here in Romania. You know him also. And uh, what I said before, in these difficult moments, you need uh, players to show up, to show their personality. And Djoko today is one of the players that uh, pushed the team in the second half that we needed him. Not only Djoko, but you asked me about Djoko, so I have to say about him. How difficult is going to be the next round? The next round. First of all, it will be difficult on uh, Sunday. We have a game uh, from uh, today. We, ha I mean, tomorrow we recover and we think of our next game in Gencha. Uh, today, unfortunately, we didn't have our fans on our side. It was something uh, strange and difficult for us. But uh, uh, on Sunday we have our fans, full stadium, and we have to prepare. We have to relax tomorrow. We have to recover well in order to be well on the game on Sunday. And then, for sure, as you pass, I mean for Europe, as you pass to the next round, the things get more difficult, and we know that it will be more hard, but we have time to think about this game. For you, it was better or worse that uh, the stadium was empty? On one hand, you don't have the supporters, on the uh, other hand, uh, you can, the, the player can help. Ah, okay, by, by this. No, I believe also for the players and for the general atmosphere, we all like to have fans 
and uh, especially our fans because we know their passion for the team and the love for the team. In all the games, they support us and they help us. And uh, I prefer not to be listened to the player, but to have our fans. Was not pressure on the Bulgarian team? Was not. It's not about pressure. It's about uh, general atmosphere. You know the motivation that they give to our players, and I believe also for everybody, it's better to have uh, full stadiums. And uh, it's one thing that I'm happy that you have in Romania. That uh, most of the, especially when we play, uh, the pitches are full, and it's something that the players enjoy to play in full pitches. What did you decide to replace uh, Look, uh, there are players important for the team that uh, they play continuously, they have many minutes, so we have uh, to manage everything, you know, we have to manage everything and we have to think of everything. So, uh, this was my decision today, maybe it was correct, maybe it was wrong, but uh, we have to think about everything, we don't, have, you know, we, we take decisions, sometimes we make mistakes as well, we're not... Uh, People, we are people, and it's normal to make mistakes. Or, but we we decided to, to replace uh, Florinel today. He has many games on his legs, but uh, the more yes. And uh, okay, I don't want to speak about this, but okay, Kada is here, and uh, you saw three, four kicks, and I don't believe that uh, like it was just by that. It was three kicks exactly the same on Florinel. So. He was these are things that uh, we take in mind as well. So it's a very important player for us, and we need him for the rest of the games. Miguelesco and Compagno are also injured? Miguelesco, I said, uh, he had an injury. That's why he left the pitch early. And uh, we don't know how serious it is. We'll see tomorrow. The doctor will see all the players, and uh, he will tell us exactly how big the injuries are. Oh, I think uh, Companion, he will be okay. Nothing special. I want, from my side, to congratulate also Sepsi and uh, Farul for the wins and that they pass to the next round. It's very important for, for the Romanian football. And uh, we are waiting, looking forward to play in uh, Gencha on Sunday with our fans. It's an advantage for you, what happened with the Perez? Will be an advantage for you for the game? What what happened? Advantage for what? You mean? I don't know. For the okay, I, I believe that uh, also for them, like for us, these games are finished and we will be focused. So it's not uh, advantage for us is how we play. This is our advantage, our attitude. If we show our attitude and the correct, uh, we make the correct things. For me, it's what most important, what we make, not the opponent. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.